All right, so I gotta, I have to check this out. So <laughs> I forgot Winnie the Pooh 2, the movie is coming out and the scary movie I'm talking about, I think it's called Pooh and Honey or something like that. It's a, not the cartoon, you know, not any of that. The scary movie, R-rated version of Winnie the Pooh is the second one that's coming out. And this is the trailer. I'm about to react to it. But before I react to it, the reason I'm reacting to it first is because I forgot it was coming out. But also, I heard, well, no, I didn't hear it. I saw it myself. I'll post it. You'll see it on the screen. I'll post it on the screen. It has a, a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. It is being loved. Now, I do have mixed feelings about the whole critic score and all that. I just find it hilarious that a movie like this, a movie that was getting roasted when the first one came out, is now getting high praise. And quick little story. When the first one came out of uh, that scary movie, and you could tell that the budget was very low, when the, the outfits was, you know, it would look low budget. I remember when I told my wife what happened that uh, the people who own Winnie the Pooh, I guess they lost their rights. I don't know the whole story of it, but allegedly like they lost their rights to just have the name for themselves. So the, the Winnie the Pooh universe is open season. So someone took it, made it a scary movie, something <laughs> so far the, uh, further away from the original story, the G-rated story. And when I showed my wife that and I said they're making a scary movie out of it, she was like, that is not, why would they do that? I was like, why wouldn't they? That's a bank, that's, that's, that's making bank right there. Then we saw the trailer. She was like, that movie is not going to do well. That's not going to do well. I was like, oh, it's going to make millions. And she was like, wait, 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 wait. Did you just see the trailer? I said, yes, that's going to make millions. She said, did you see how the budget, I mean, it looks like a small budget. I was like, they don't need a high budget. They can start small make so much money each movie and then you'll see it get better and better and better i said and she was like how do you think they're gonna make a lot of money i said think about it we grew up with winnie the pooh the cartoon disney whatever you want to call it, whoever it was and what was it a family friendly you know happy all the friends and christopher robin all that stuff now it's turned to this Curiosity alone for people our age and anybody who watched Winnie the Pooh is going to go see that movie, going to pay for a ticket. The movie, she was like, but the movie could be terrible. It doesn't, and I told her it doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be good. It's going to make so much money off of curiosity alone. I was curious. I'm like, what the heck? Did I think it looked top tier? No. But to be real, that's not the reason I was looking to, uh, to see it. I just wanted to see what are they doing with this movie? And that alone, I told her, is going to make them millions. And from what I heard, they made a lot of money compared to their budget off of that first movie. And the funniest part is a lot of people didn't like it. But when you're in that company where you're trying to build something, at the end of the day, you just care about that dollar bill. And they made a lot of, <laughs> a lot of money compared to what they spent from what I heard. And I told her, I said, think about it. All they need to do is make a nice, I have a, make some nice money off the first one. Then the second one comes out and you'll see the, the budget is bigger. And so it looks better and so on and so forth and so on. And she thought, she was like, that is true. It could work that way. She said, I don't think it'll be for Winnie the Pooh. Now, this is before I heard about the second one. There's another picture. I'll post it right here. The Pooniverse I heard is coming out. I think it was 2025. Guess what kind of characters is in there? See, look at the picture. Winnie the Pooh is sitting on Bambi. Pinocchio's in there. Tinkerbell. Mad Hatter. And I'm missing some other characters. You can see from the picture. Then you can look it up. It's some other. They, <laughs> this company allegedly took some Disney characters that also lost, Disney lost some rights to. Because I heard that Disney is having some issues with uh, ownership of their characters. I don't know the whole story. I don't really watch the news a lot. But... I do know enough that they, they have some issues with some of their characters that now is free season for other people to make movies out of them. And it has nothing to do with the Disney side. And I showed my wife that I showed her the picture just recently. She was like, what is this? I was like, that's Pinocchio. That's Bambi. That's this. She was like, in a Winnie the Pooh movie? I said that same Winnie the Pooh from a couple years ago or a year ago or something. She was like, wait, Pooniverse? And I think it was like a saying, saying monsters assemble or something like that. This company is hilarious. One, they're genius. If this is true, that there's a Pooniverse happening, 
they are a genius. If that picture that I'm posting right now is that if that is true, and they're just taking all the names that has lost the rights and making a movie out of it, they are a genius. You don't have to like the movie. They're going to make millions off of your curiosity, off of my curiosity, because you darn skippy. I'm going to check it out just to see what that looks like. The Puniverse <laughs> is it's, it's goofy, but it's genius. It's, it's, it's clever. I mean, they don't have to have a good plot. They they are using the famous names of Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, whoever to sell. And they have to go far left with it. And what I mean by that is this Disney Winnie the Pooh stuff is G-rated, cartoon family friendly. They had to go to the extreme with the violence and stuff because you had to do something that gets people attention. You mean Winnie the Pooh did what? Tigger did what? And they did it right. I mean, like I said, I'm not saying the movies are great, but it did raise my curiosity. And now there's a second one, which I totally missed. And I'm about to see the uh, trailer for this one. But then they hear that allegedly 2025, the Puniverse. I know the people who are making it are probably laughing behind the scenes because that does sound funny. But at the end of the day, they're sitting there collecting because you're going to tell me you're not going to see that movie just out of curiosity to see what is all these people doing. I, I don't, I want to see what the second one has to offer, but that Puniverse picture, all them characters that we grew up with, that's nothing like what we're seeing now. <laughs> it's, it's all in one movie terrorizing people that, and I heard there's a Mickey mouse horror movie coming out too, bro. This for me as a person who's just a viewer, this stuff is hilarious. It's hilarious. Like, it don't bother me none because I don't own Disney. I don't work for Disney. I don't work for nobody. I, I'm a viewer watching from behind the seat, and I'm just, wow. Wow, this is hilarious. This is crazy. And like I said before, it don't have to be great. But I did tell her, I said, watch it. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what this trailer looks like to see if the budget looks better. Because I did say, I said, once, every time the movie gets better, they can add more money to make the movie better. Hey, the names is going to sell the movie. The name is. Let's check out this trailer real quick. Let's begin. I'm going to take you back there. Feel all weight drift away. How are you feeling? Good, I think. Do you recall anything from the session? Focus. What is happening? This was the day Billy was taken. It already looks better. You know what's funny? Okay. I, I'm already, it already looks like a better production. Oh, here we go. That looks better. That is. It's as if the earth itself was allowing this horror. To rise up. <laughs> this is funny, bro. Like, there's some dang. insane similarities to the Hundred Acre Massacre. I mean, he looks better than the last movie. It's not safe. There have been loads of murders being dashed down. Tell me everything you saw, please. I knew that this day would come. And was that supposed to be Tigger? Dang. Yeah, that's Tigger. Oh! It looks better, bro. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, bro. This is hilarious. But the production looks... It looks like more money is put into it. It's just like I said, they don't have to. They just got to make enough money for the first one. And this one, it looks better. It looks more intense. They got it, the Tiggers there. <laughs> so now they got Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. The costumes look better, you know. And it makes me wonder if when this, not if, when this movie makes a lot of money, again, the Pooniverse or whatever, how is it going to look even then? Bro, I, hey, say what you want. 
at this company I, is a genius. That's smart, bro. And while these rights or whatever for these characters are not uh, fully uh, with their uh, comp uh, owners yet, and it's open season for them, why not make a buck out of it? And they're, from what I'm hearing, they're making a lot of <laughs> a lot of money and still building it, still building it. The Puniverse. Think about that. Think about that. Bambi, uh, Tinkerbell. Dude, I don't even want to think about what they'll do with Tinkerbell in that movie, bro. Oh, my goodness. And like I said, they... Oh, well, no. It's, the name alone is going to sell it. Like, I'm going to see that. I'll put it that way. Do I expect greatness? No. I do expect it to be better, and the trailer looks even better than the first one. But, I mean, and they got... You know, the actors don't seem bad. Don't seem that bad acting wise. So that means they can they like they can afford more. Uh, how should I say it? They can get better actors in each movie and all that stuff to make. Uh, hey, <laughs> that, I mean, hey, they got a hundred percent score on Rotten Tomatoes, bro. That is crazy. But I'm not surprised. Well, I'm surprised on the critic side. I will say that. Uh, for the fan side, I, I you know I would see it more one hundred percent more on the fan side than the critics. So yeah, I am a little surprised that they called it. They made it one hundred percent, but that should tell you, bro. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious! It was destined to happen. It was destined to happen. This was going to this was going to succeed. And it's funny, my wife's reaction when she saw the Puniverse pitch. She's like, "This actually worked." I was like, "Yeah, it's going to keep going until Disney gets their characters back to, for themselves only and other stuff." It's going to keep going. It's not just them. It's going to be other companies try it. It's going to. It's going to be. And so, and I'm pretty sure there's more information I don't know about with this whole thing, uh, with the rights and all that stuff. But I don't really care. Like I said, I'm the I'm the viewer. Just from what I'm watching, it's hilarious. And from what I'm watching, I'm not surprised that it's succeeding. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll talk to y'all later.